Hey everybody, John Costigan back, and I have a real cool technique here called What Happens Next. Now, it, it, what's, what I love about, the, and let me stop for a second. I know I keep going, what I love about this, what I love about that. Oh, here's a funny story. You're like, you know, like, dude, is everything you love and everything's funny? I almost feel redundant, but maybe it's just my passion coming out. But I will tell you that if I was like on my deathbed and somebody said, what's the top three techniques that you think has probably won you more business than anything? This is one of them. So I might think everything's a funny story. And I might think every, I might love all my techniques, but this is like Michael Jordan's. This is like, it has nothing to do with Jordan. It's just really that good. Okay. So um, the technique, and oh, by the way, when I did my CD years ago, I was screwing this up. You know, what to say and how to say it. I'm re-releasing it and it's going to be coming out and I'm re-releasing it because I have changed. Why? I've gotten my, my, my butt handed to me on some of these techniques and I never went back into the studio and I redid this. And this is one of them where I kind of got it handed to me. On my older CD, for example, if I was making a cold call and somebody picks up the phone, I knew they were busy and they're like, hey, tell you what, just send me some information. I went, great, no problem. Let me send it out. Let me get your email. Perfect. Hey, I'll follow up with you the next week. Hey, really quick, if you get my information and you love it, hey, what happens next? Well, I used to say that back then, right? Well, you know what happened? Somebody did this to me. And when they did it to me, I was like, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. Dude, call me next week. I'm busy. And I kind of got pissed off about it. Well, what's funny is that I'm on a CD going, oh, go do this, go do this, go do this. But then when someone does it to you, you're like, okay, whoa, whoa. What are you, uh, selling used cars while you're at it? And by the way, I apologize for any used car sales people out there. I know it's kind of the term we use about talking about, you know, hey, let's go. You know, I, I, we don't want to be that person, right? So, but I almost felt that way. And when someone did it to me, that's how I felt. So let me kind of redefine what happens next. First off is it works great in the negotiation phase towards the end. If somebody says, Hey, listen, can you think you might be able to do better on your price? And oh, by the way, you might do the good, you know, good question, why'd you ask? You know, I get all that, but let's pretend you really come down to the point where you might discount. I might say, listen, not sure if I can or not. I'm probably gonna have to go talk to somebody, but let me ask you, if I can discount it, and I don't know if I can, but if I can, hey, what, what happens next? I mean, you know, where, where do we go from here? Now it's okay, because I think you've established communication, some rapport, some trust, some competence, um, some credibility, and I think you need some of those things to play that card, that what happens next card. When you do it really early on, you haven't earned those stripes yet. Um, you know, it's almost, it's funny, I'll tell you a funny, uh, again, another funny story, right? I'm in Philadelphia training one of the largest computer companies in the world, and I talked about this technique. Well, the gentleman, I'm going to keep this very professional, but the gentleman the next day came up to me, and it was a young, young man, very good looking guy in Philadelphia, and he goes, hey, I tried your uh, what happens next technique last night. I'm like, well, where? He goes, well, I went out with some friends of mine and I saw a very pretty girl and I went up and I approached her. I said, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. And, and uh, she said, nice to meet you. And he's like, you mind if I buy you a drink? And she said, sure. And he was telling me this story. So this is real life. This is John making this up. And so I said, so when did you use that technique? He goes, well, about two minutes into it, I said, listen, you're a really pretty attractive lady and I hope I'm not that bad. Listen, if, if this all works out, what happens next? And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? I go, what happened? He goes, she actually threw the drink I bought her on me. I go, as she should. I go, what are you, crazy? I go, it's not how it works, especially at that phase of the high list. I mean, you're kind of going, hi, how are you? Want to get married? I mean, you jump so fast into this. I go, and when I made the joke to him, he's like, oh, no, I don't want to get married. I go, yeah, I know that, okay? But at the end of the day, your timing was so far off. And I'm not sure in a relationship if you've ever used that technique, right, when, when relationship. But at the end of the day, I will tell you that there are certain times when you use it. It's great in the negotiation phase, number one. But number two is, if you're going to do it sometime early on, I think you've got to really soften it. Uh, definitely probably not on a first call, uh, but maybe that second call that you have with the person, when you follow up at the brochure, maybe talk a little bit about what their challenges are, and then you say, hey, tell you what, Bob, listen, I know you have the information. I think our next step is I'll send out an email to you, maybe summarize our quick 10, 15-minute conversation because it's our second call. But hey, can you kind of walk me through, once I provide this to you, and if I can give you something that maybe helps your business, hey, can you kind of walk me through what your next steps are? I mean, how do you guys do business? Is this something that's a priority for you? See, I kind of rounded out the edges as opposed to used car sales, Johnny. Hey, what happens next? Okay, so you can see there's different ways of saying it. Hey, so what are your thoughts? I mean, how soon is this something, how soon you want to do this? Or, you know, where do we go from here? Um, hey, is there anybody else that probably needs to get involved with this based on our conversation? Those are all different ways of saying, hey, let's not work for free here, either one of us. If this is something you want to do, great. 
I am more than happy to jump into the water with you here, but do me a favor. Let me know what happens after we, get it, after we jump into the water. Where are we going? Now, of course, I'm paraphrasing. I don't say it that way, but you get the point. So anyway, it's a phenomenal technique, and yes, I told a funny story, and I said it's one of my favorite techniques, but this truly is a deathbed best technique I'd ever used. This is one of those best ones. So good selling. Hope, hope, it, hope it works for you. Hey everybody, John Costigan here. The toughest part to any sale is getting in the door, right? Tell you what, click on the URL below this video or go to costigantraining.com slash free week. Take the first step of solving this huge problem of getting in the door. It's five days, five clips, less than five minutes. Click on the link. We'll see you in a few seconds.